Uh, is there any Canadian security in the house? Alright, we're gonna break this shit down. We're coming real far away. Have you heard of British Columbia? Hey! Hey! <laughs> Class? Class? We have a... Why is the bouncer on the stage? Oh shit. We're getting shut down. Alright, so uh, I've never done this before. Um, I guess there's a few things you need to know about me. I, name's Lawrence. Lawrence! Uh, I am Canadian. Oh fuck. A frostback, if you will. Um, I'm not gay. I just like the taste. Um, I guess I do more situational humor. Things I've experienced in life. Um, like energy drinks, which John B. obviously loves. Uh, at one point in time, you would notice that energy drinks started really small. Like Red Bulls. And then, eventually, they started getting really, really big. Which is kind of where we are right now. But the trend is also for them to get smaller. And eventually I believe that one day it'll just be a suppository. Yes! <laughs> Something you just, you know, pop in your ass and well, keep you energetic all day. I would use this product. But the uh, risk you run into is that this product will follow the trend that it did before and start getting bigger again. That's what she said! <laughs> And I forgot the rest of that joke. You hate babies. But, uh, let's see. It's not the babies. Oh, None yes, of us are making it tonight, you're not either, it's fine. Yeah. Hey. I've, never done this. I've actually never spoken into a mic before. Yes, um, hey, you're not telling them that cock that you suck. You know? <laughs> like I said, I get hungry and I like the taste. So, uh... No, you said you come from the nutrients, too. How do you know? So the joke that John B. is referring to, I barely remember. It was basically talking about mothers. And I love my mother. I love her very, very dearly. I would kill for my mom. But sometimes she will start nagging to the point where you will punch a baby. What? And not just any baby, a black baby. And I didn't think this was very funny, but John B. did. And so I had to tell that joke. The actual comedian in my family is my little brother. He's a target! He has the uh, three most funniest moments in my life were something that came out of my brother's mouth, so I'm going to tell you what happened. So, one of them was, a friend of mine was dating this girl, very, very attractive, it didn't work out, and my brother had met this girl, and you guy I was talking to, and uh, so he asked, so is he still dating, you know, this girl? And I said, no, he's not. And he said, um, yeah, well, like I always say, for every hot chick you see out there, there's some dude that's sick of fucking her. <laughs> sick of fucking her. If you can't hear me, it's because I've never spoken to her. It sounds like they can suck like some more than you Bro, I got sick of fucking her too, that's what I And, uh, second one was, uh, my mother had an exterminator coming over, and my brother called me and said he needed my help, so I came, I went, and uh, we needed to move everything around the house about three feet away from every single wall, inside and out. So we're, and the garage is just an absolute mess. So we're stacking all these things, you know, stacking them, making this cube of junk in the middle of the garage, and we had the radio going in the garage, and uh, Salt and Pepper's Push It came on. Salt and Pepper's Push It came on. And, you know, I was kind of barely paying attention. And my brother was, you know, on one side of this cube and I was on the other. And I can kind of see him, you know, through this cube we're creating. And uh, he goes, God, I, I remember this song. And I was like, man, yeah, me too. He's like, I lost my virginity to this song. And I'm sitting there stacking boxes and going, no, you didn't. He was like 11 years old. And he goes, and so I said that. I was like, no, you didn't. He's like, no, no, I didn't. But I sure was jacking off a lot back then. And, uh... That's about it. That's all I got. It's hard. I, I've never done this before. Hey, just, just, just like the cylindrical things that go in your mouth, it's hard over there. Well, my mouth is really dry. And I'm tired. Hey, is, that, is that what you call a Mojave blowjob? No. <laughs> I didn't hear you. Is that, is that what you call a Mojave blowjob? Yes! Yeah. 
And that was it. That was uh, that was me in my first attempt at this ever. Let me tell you about the last time I was in Kansas City. 